This is a Hisense TV. So a 55 inch TV, the model is 55R, 6E is an Echo, 3. Uh, the TV just powers on and off like this over and over and over. So I have a feeling I know what this is. I'm gonna take the back off and find out. I'll be back in just a moment. All right, so I've taken the back of this TV off. It's this little section right here. It's all you need to take off. Just a couple screws, super easy to do. And as I suspected, there are two swollen capacitors. Right here and right there. If you look at the top of those, you see how they're bulging out? See how they're not flat like these two? These two are flat and these two bulge out on the top. They're not supposed to do that. So these capacitors are what needs to be replaced. So I'm gonna remove that power board and solder two new capacitors on there and I guarantee you that'll fix it. Uh, there's a connection here for power. This connection needs to come loose. This needs to come loose. These two here need to come loose. And this one up top need to come loose. There's screws here, here, I believe right here, here and here that need to come loose and then this board will come off in your hands. Please, for the love of God, be sure to turn the TV off and give it a few minutes to power down, hold the power button in with the TV unplugged to drain all the power off the board so you don't kill yourself when working on it. If you have any kind of soldering skills at all, those two capacitors are what I'm gonna replace. You can do that so easily. Be sure to orient the capacitors in the same orientation they're in now. You see there's a stripe on this side, those stripes, need to face down when you put your new capacitors in. They have to go in the same way. See how there's no stripe on that side, but there is a stripe on that side. Make sure to put a capacitor back in the same way. Very important. All right, uh, we'll pause this video for a moment while I uninstall this board and do some soldering. My replacement capacitors here from digikey.com. If you need radial electrolytic capacitors, they're a great place to get them from. They're very cheap parts to fix this TV. I bought extra, I only needed two, but I went ahead and bought some extras just so I have a few of these on hand. These are a little bit bigger than what I've got in there, but I'll still be able to make them fit. I paid uh, under $10 for these capacitors here. I only needed two, but you can see they're, they're very cheap, very affordable. Uh, you must make sure you get the same capacitors that are in this board. These are 10, let's see, I'm sorry. These are 350 volt. 10 UF capacitors. So you definitely have to have 350 volts. You can use a little bit higher of a UF rating, but the voltage must be the same. So if I, if I had to, I could use 350 volt, 15 UF or 20 UF, that's acceptable. But I wouldn't, I wouldn't go much higher than that. All right, so let's see, those two have to come out. So the connections for these capacitors are here and here. There's the, there's the connections for one, those two, and then right here, those two for the next one. So I'm gonna get those changed, and I'll be back later. Okay, the caps have been replaced. Those are the two new ones, and that's one of the ones that came off of it. See how that top is bulging, and the other ones are flat. If it's bulging like that, that's a bad cap. So the two new ones are on. Now I will reinstall that board and the TV and test it out. I'll be right back in just a minute. The board has now been reinstalled in the TV. All of the cables have been hooked back up. I'm gonna put the back panel back on, then spin it around, plug it in and give it a test. I'll be right back. All right, now let's test it and see if it works. Yeah, look at that. That's beautiful. All right, free 55 inch smart TV. I fixed it for under $1 in parts. I like it a lot. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you decide to try this, just again, please unplug the TV before you work on it. Hold the power button in for a few seconds and drain all the power off the TV.